Come on, what's up, me poor love and come on, love and come on. I'm Idris Mohammed. I'm a teacher by profession. I was born a non Ahmadi Muslim. I became an Ahmadi when I was around 12 years through one Mr. Nkrumah. And he was a friend to the, fam the whole family, our family. So we had been coming to the house, preaching to us. But I'm the only person who listened to him and then followed him to become an Ahmadi. I could see that every religion around us or sect of the Muslim community are yearning for the coming Messiah. But looking at what is all going on within Ahmadiyya, I realized that through this is the message or this is the awaited Messiah we were looking for. So even my family, because we were all non-Ahmadis, they were opposing me not to become an Ahmadi. But I realized that the journey was the true journey which I've taken, so I didn't mind them. I've seen so many changes in my life when I became an Ahmadi. But formerly, I was just practicing the Islam without the knowledge. All what I was doing by then, I don't understand that. I just do it just because I was asked to do it by my parents. But when I became an Ahmadi, everything was explained to me and I understand whatever I do. Through literatures, everything is there for you. People are always ready to answer whatever question you want to ask them. They will give you those answers as compared to other areas where you don't even have anyone to help you. I've realized that I've now improved as compared to when I was non Ahmadi. Now I can sit within a community or within people and then preach. Formerly, I cannot do it. But now, I can also preach and then convert people into religion, as I've been doing nowadays. I was called by Alahaj Mustafa. They told me that they just want to make me a circuit president. And I told him, it's a big work which I cannot do. He said, why should you say that? You are fortunate. Look at among the Jamaat. We have so many people, and we have decided to make you the second president. And you are telling me it's a big work, so you cannot do. Then still, Idris, then you don't know why you are an Ahmadi. I went to him and then informed my wife. And this is what my elders within the Jamaat have informed me. And she said, ah, then Alhamdulillah, it's a work of God. So you have to take it and do it, even if you think you cannot do it. By the help of Allah, you by all means do it. And I also accepted what my wife told me. So I started as a circuit president. So I have served two consecutive times as the circuit president. And beside the circuit president, I became the Zona secretary for Ansar Allah for two consecutive times. Currently, as I'm talking, I'm the census officer of the Ansar Allah within the zone. The fourth Alifa was the first person I met when we went to Sopon on a conference. We were there with him, and there was a time for us to ask questions. So I got that privilege to ask him a question. That was my first interaction with Alifa. There are so many blessings which I cannot even mention all of them. I've never regretted becoming an Ahmadi. So I'm still an Ahmadi and I'm still within doing my work as an Ahmadi. And I think, inshallah, I will die as an Ahmadi.